Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little box. It features the hippest hippos stamp set and coordinating dies. These are from our summer celebration catalog, which means they are each free with a $50 purchase. This box was designed based on a box I received from my downline, Laura. Here is her box. Hers actually had a tea bag in it and some biscotti cookies. So I loved the box so much, I changed the measurements a little bit to fit something specific for this stamp set. So thanks, Laura, for the inspiration. I was blown away by your box. So inside of our box is some hippo little uh, kinder cookies, Kinder Happy Hippo Biscuits. They're so adorable. So I made it uh, so that it could fit three of them. They come in a box like this. I ordered these from straight from Amazon. All right, well, let's get started. Let's make our box first. Um, the measurements for this are gonna be over on my blog. You're gonna need um, thick white cardstock to make your box. The measurements, what I was going to say, is on a free PDF. Looks just like this. So if you click the link over on here on YouTube to go back to my blog, you'll find that free PDF as well as two other Hippest Hippos projects. All right, so your thick basic white cardstock needs to be, let's see, uh, five by nine and a half. Uh, we're gonna score just the long side at four and a fourth and five and three eighths. All right, your second piece is five by six on the long side, you're gonna score it at one and five, and on the short side, you're gonna score it at two and three. This is the little box that goes on the end side to hold our little hippos. So grab your bone folder and burnish those lines, get them nice and crisp. All right, and this is really simple to put together. Snip these score lines on the short side. Then take your Tombow liquid glue, and we're gonna put glue on the outside of those middle tabs and fold them, fold the back side up and into those tabs and then put glue on the inside of the remaining tabs and fold those up around. All right, I'm gonna grab some clothespins just to kind of hold that while it dries. All right, now the other piece, we're just going to burnish those lines and we've got some pieces of a new designer series paper that I want to show you. This is a um, designer series paper that is free with stamp and rewards. When your order gets to $150, you start earning free products. And this is one of the products you can choose. With stamp and rewards, you can choose anything for free, but this the only way to get this paper is to use stamp and rewards. It's new, it's in our holiday catalog, it is adorable. It's called Celebrate Everything Designer Series Paper. So I am using the Pacific Point pattern. I thought that was kind of nautical looking for our little um, hippo that is on the, uh, gonna be in the little boat. All right, so now you've got a piece of Pacific Point that we're gonna put on the inside like this. And then we've got these. And we're not gonna put these on yet because we've gotta put ribbon um, on our box, but I don't wanna do that until our other piece goes on the inside. We've gotta give that some time to dry. So let's work on our, while we wait for all that to dry, let's work on our little elephant, I mean, our little hippo. Um, we're gonna stamp him in memento black on thick, basic white cardstock. All right, we're gonna color him with smoky slate stamp and blends. And I'm gonna do just small sections at one time. And I'm gonna start here around his head. I'm using the bullet end and I'm gonna leave that white up there to, uh, we're gonna actually blend it in a little bit um, with our color lifter. But let me add a little bit of dark right here behind his snout, his nose, his mouth part. I'm not sure what you call that on a hippo. And then I'm just gonna take my color lifter and just kind of blend all of that together. 
All right, so now we're gonna go back with our light and we're gonna color that in. Again, I'm gonna leave that white up towards the top so that we can take our color lifter and just kind of blend them together. Looks kind of like a shine mark. All right, now we'll do the rest of him. This is light again. And then I think, you know, I think we'll go dark with his belly. Make that have some contrast. There we go. All right, so now he has a matching die, which we're gonna cut out. We're gonna use to cut him out. But we're gonna cut out some other things as well. The hippo dies have some adorable accessories. So let's get him situated. You know what, I did not color his little ears. Let's add some color to his ears. There we go. I always tend to forget the ears on these guys. All right, so there's that. Now, we're gonna cut out the little um, snorkel and mask to go on him as well as the little life preserver. Um, because they're so little, I'm gonna use an adhesive sheet on here. Um, that's gonna turn our, our piece of cardstock into a sticker, make it much easier to adhere. Okay, so we'll put those on there like that. Then we're gonna cut the boat from craft cardstock and the little propeller from, oops, I've got the wrong one. We don't want the glasses. We want the snorkel and the propeller from silver foil. All right, now carefully lay that on there and let's run it through. Okay, now we've got all these. We're gonna have to get those out of there and make sure you put all your dies back so you don't lose them. And we've got our boat and our propeller. And one thing I also needed to do, which we should have done at the same time, was stamp our sentiment. Let's do that. And also our wave. So I'm gonna stamp love you a ton right there. And I am gonna use the smallest of our stylus shape dies to cut that out. So let's bring the cut and emboss machine back over. Put that right there. And then we've got a piece of Pacific Point and we're gonna cut out a wave. My piece is really long, so we're gonna have to snip that a little bit. All right, run those through. And now I think we're done. Now this die, you can see how it doesn't necessarily cut all the way off unless your piece is short enough. So all I'm gonna do is take my scissors and just kind of continue that little wave there. All right, now I have a vellum um, circle that I cut with my layering circle dies. And we'll start with our little hippo right in the center. Now let's get our snorkel pieces out. And remember we put adhesive on the back so that turns it into a sticker which is just gonna be a lot easier once I can get the backing off. We're not gonna have a problem with our glue 
smearing everywhere. So we'll put that right there. How cute is he? And then we'll get the other part of our snorkel. And peel that off. Well, when you have nails, it's a little bit tricky to get that backing off. There we go. Get that in position. And then we'll put our little boat right here. And let's stick, let's glue our propeller on the back of our boat with some Tombow. We'll stick that and put that right there. And then carefully turn it over. See if we can get that to stay. Tombow glue is great, but it does take a little while to start drying. All right, there we go. Now we'll get our life preserver out. This is the take your pick tool and it's great for a lot of things. It's really good for helping get those dyes out. It has a dye brush attachment that you can use as well. All right, we'll put that right there. All right, now let's, before we do the rest of it, let's bring our box back over because I think we need to do those pieces first. Okay, so we've got our little box here. This is gonna go on the inside and I have cut a piece of designer series paper to go on the outside of this box like that. And then we're going to put some Tombow right here. And we will put that right there. And you're going to need to give that some time to dry. Now I'm using some new ribbon. This is called um, Balmy Blue and White double stitched ribbon. It's beautiful ribbon. Let's put our little hippos in there. I've got two left in this box and we will snag one from over here. Put that one in there. See how those go? Now take your ribbon and we're going to tie this ribbon right here to keep our box closed. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready to put this on. We're gonna sandwich that ribbon. Right there like that. Now you don't have to worry about your ribbon falling off. Okay, so now we've got our cute little hippo and we're gonna put this on with some dimensionals down in the bottom corner like that. Now I'm gonna take that wave that we made. I'm also gonna put that on with some dimensionals. right there. Now remember the little sign that we made? We're going to cut off the end and we're going to use a toothpick. And I'm going to cut the pointy end off of our toothpick. All right, grab a mini glue dot and put that right there on the end like that. And we'll put that, let's go a little bit lower. Let's get our glue dot and go a little bit lower like that. All right. And then for extra support, we'll put another dimensional and then we'll get one more glue dot down here at the bottom. And that's going to go right in his little boat. Love you a ton. Okay, now a few more things. Wink of Stella for our wave. 
we want to just get that nice and sparkly and I'm going to do the whole thing okay and then we'll add a few bubbles a few opal rounds now this adorable hippo stamp set and coordinating dies are only available in July and August 2022. So make sure if you love it to get it before it's gone. And there you go. What a fun project. This project could be used for lots of occasions. Um, and as you can see, it's not a completely closed box. It's kind of a box and a card. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, and check out the other two hippest hippo projects I have for you. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.